Hello and welcome to this series of spoken tutorials on Akash Business Tool that is ABT. This tutorial will give you an introduction to ABT. We will familiarize ourselves with the applications and features of ABT. We will also learn how to install ABT on an Akash tablet. To record this tutorial I am using ABT version 1.0 Akash tablet with Android version 4.2 that is Jelly Bean. ABT can be used on any rooted tablet of your choice. To install ABT on a rooted tablet, you will require a working internet connection and 400 MB of free space on internal or external SD card. For more information, visit the following links. To learn ABT, you must be familiar with the concepts of bookkeeping. ABT is an accounting tool which runs on Android OS. It is intended for accountants and account students. It is a free and open source software licensed under GNU GPL version 3. ABT can be used by an NGO as well as a profit making organization. Now, let us look at some of the features of ABT. First, let's see how to maintain organizations. So, on the first page we can see two buttons at the top. Create new organization and select existing organization. Now, on the next page we have to fill organization details. Fill the organization details if required or Tap on skip button. Now let's see a small clip about user authentication and its role in an organization. Now we will select role as admin and login with our username and password. We can now view the login, logout and total time of manager and operator. Next let's have a look at how to maintain books of accounts. This is create account page. An organization can have any number of accounts. Every account falls under a group and optionally a subgroup. A prompt box appears which asks whether we want to edit account or delete account. Only account name and opening balance are editable. Using ABT, we can record clone and edit transactions. Here on this page we can record transactions in ABT. Select the type of transaction from the drop down list of voucher type. After filling necessary data, save the details. Now here we will learn multiple entries in a transaction. To add a new row, tap on plus button. We can also record transactions under a project. Here we can add project names. Let us add ABT and tap on add project button. Tap on preferences option. In preferences we can see edit delete organization and add edit delete project options. We can view various types of reports in ABT such as ledger, trial balance, cash flow, cash book, Project Statement, Balance Sheet, Profit and Loss Account. Let us have a look at Bank Reconciliation. Tap on Clearance Date field to enter the clearance date of voucher. We can give memo as a statement while clearing transaction. Let us give memo as cleared. Total debit and total credit amounts are present at the end of the table. Bank Reconciliation Statement is located at the bottom of the table. We can even export a report to PDF as well as CSV formats using ABT. Tap on Export as PDF option. A new window appears. You can secure your file by giving it a password. And then tap on Set Password and Save File button. Using ABT, we can export an organization's data from one rooted tablet to another. Tap on Import Organization. 
it will show all available exported organization and financial years to be imported. Another useful feature is roll over. Here in financial year we will see two financial year periods. The period for which we created the organization and the period after rollover. The next feature is remote access to ABT server. Chain server location prompts a dialog to enter remote server IP address. So these are the glimpses of what you will learn through the ABT series of spoken tutorials. Now let's learn how to install ABT on an Akash tablet. We need a working internet connection to download files onto the tablet. If you work behind a proxy server, ensure that you bypass local host under proxy settings. You can skip this step if you have a direct internet connection. I am behind a proxy, so let us learn to configure the proxy settings now. You can find this option under settings and Wi-Fi. Ensure that Wi-Fi is turned on. Long press on the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect to. I will choose spoken underscore static. Then choose modify network. Enter the password for the selected Wi-Fi network. Check show advanced options checkbox. Choose proxy settings as manual. Fill all the required details. Add an entry for 127.0.0.1 to bypass the local host and finally save the details. Now open the web browser on a tablet. We have to type this URL in the address bar. We will download APK file from this web page. Search for Akash Business Tool and tap on download. It will download abt.apk file to download folder of internal SD card. Go to that location, file manager, SD card, download. To install, tap on the abt.apk file which we downloaded. It will pop up two options, package installer and verify and install. Tap on package installer. Select just once, tap on install, it will install the APK on a tablet. The installation process will take some time. Once it is done, the ABT icon will be available on the applications menu. Now the front end of the ABT is installed with the help of ABT's APK. Next, let's install the backend of ABT. There are two methods to install ABT's backend. Recommended method and manual method. If in case the application asks for super user permission, say grant. First, we will learn the recommended method of installation. When we open ABT for the first time, it will prompt, file system does not exist. Do you want to download and install? Tap on yes. This will download abt.tar.gz file in your internal memory. After downloading the file, it will automatically extract abt.tar.gz file. After extraction, it will again prompt file system is not mounted, device requires a reboot. Now tap on reboot to reboot the tablet. After reboot, tap on ABT icon. You can see the information about ABT. ABT is now ready to use. Now let's learn how to install ABT manually. Once we have installed ABT APK, open web browser, type this link in the address bar. ABT.tar.gz will get downloaded to download folder of internal SD card. Go to File Manager, SD Card, Download. Now copy or move this ABT.tar.gz 
to the root folder of internal SD card. Now open ABT application. It will directly start the extraction of abt.tar.gz file. After extraction, it will prompt the message, file system is not mounted, device requires a reboot. Now click on reboot to reboot the tablet. After reboot, tap on ABT icon. You can see the information about ABT. We have successfully installed Akash Business Tool. Note, in case there is not enough space in internal memory, download and extract abt.tar.gz file on your computer. Once extraction is done, we will get an abt.img file. Copy the abt.img file to the root folder of tablet's external SD card and reboot the tablet. Now ABT is ready to use. In the subsequent tutorials we will learn how to use ABT. Let's summarize. In this tutorial we learnt about ABT, applications and features of ABT, how to install ABT. As an assignment, install ABT on any rooted tablet by recommended method. Watch the video available at the given link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT. MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the given link. This is Truptikini from IIT Bombay. Thank you very much for watching.